Ford Escort. I, was, I, I wasn't gonna call <laughs> you. Yeah, like leading me right into that, yeah. Wait, what's the name of it again? Evo X, Evo 10. Is there an Evo Z or Q or anything? Don't, you, be, you best not be ragging on the IX. Raptor. Yeah. Oh, wow. wow, that was good. That was impressive. That was we good. were hoping right. you would do this. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody. Welcome to a new series from Cobb, where we bring in people from all facets of the automotive world to talk all that is cars. The way this works is I'll bring up some topics and ideas. I'll throw them out into a pot, and then these guys just stir it up, and we'll see what we can cook up. My name's Adam. I'm your host and moderator, and this is liftoff. All right, let's get to introductions. We've got a couple special guests today, Ben and also Ben. As you can see from the shirt, these guys are from a popular YouTube series called Gears and Gasoline. You've probably seen some of their videos floating around online. Uh, you both have the same name. It might be a little confusing. Uh, is there some way that you guys kind of handle that in day-to-day -day life? Yeah, if we were standing up, you would see that I'm like a foot taller than yeah. Ben, so you can call us Tall Ben and Little Ben. You can still tell. Uh, all right, that's <laughs> or cool. I'm Asian and he's white. Yep. I mean, if you guys want to go with that, we can do it. <laughs> totally but do it. Yeah. It's, it's up to you. But uh, and then we've got two guests also from Cobb Tuning here that are on my right, Drew Gorey. He's one of our calibrators, and then we've got Adam over here. So we have two Adams, of course. Um, just remember, his all his hair is here instead of up here like mine. That's the easy way to remember it. Backwards, Adam. Um, he's a project manager here at Cobb Tuning. <clears throat> All right, let's get to question one. Ben, Asian Ben. Yeah. <laughs> what was your first car, and do you know where it is today? Oh, wow. Uh, so my first car was uh, actually a 1994 Subaru Legacy uh, sedan. Uh, stick, like, didn't work at all, basically. I, <laughs> so it was great. Like, I learned to drive stick on it, and the thing was that it would, it would only start half the time you turned the key. So stalling in that car was great because I would stall at like stoplights and then not be able to turn it back on. <laughs> so I've like push started the car like through stoplights. That's why you're so good at roll starting. Yeah, yeah. that's why I'm yeah. so good at roll Does starting. I'm very comfortable with it. Is there any uh, grumpy people in, oh, in traffic? All the time. That... I mean, there always are when you're learning to drive yeah, sticks. That's true, that's true. Yeah, no, it was especially bad when you couldn't start the car. But uh, I have no idea where it is. Um, it, uh, we, me and my dad uh, tried to do the what is it, the bearings on the bottom, I think? I think we tried to replace the bearings. We didn't do it engine out. We just dropped dropped the oil pan and, and tried to do it from there. And uh, I think it threw a rod like the first time we, we took it out to drive. Uh, <laughs> and then like literally, I think we just like left it in the parking lot. Was that your learner car? And it was car? gone later. Learned yeah. everything? Yeah. Learned everything. Well, I didn't learn, I barely stick. learned anything, yeah. but it was my learner. It was one of my learners. You know where it is? Is it, is it gone? No, it, it, it was just gone from the parking lot. Heaven, no idea where it is. Yeah. All right, Adam, what about your first car? 1987 Hyundai Excel, mm, GLS, nice. five door, hatch, maroon, maroon interior also, <laughs> yes. which was a nice touch. I wish nobody does the like, crazy color yeah. interiors anymore. So in 87, this was like when I guess fuel injection was coming on board. Mm. So it had like a pseudo carb fuel injected thing, I guess like TBI, um, three speed automatic. Ooh. It was oh, pretty sweet. Nice. Had a 215 JL subs in it. <laughs> what, did, what did you play pre in? Pretty in, nice. What year was this, by the way? So, oh, okay. So I'm going to age myself. Um, <laughs> oh, that's 90, 95? Uh, so, nice. Yeah. So what was bumping in those subs? Uh, I think that I had some Bone Thugs and Harmony going. <laughs> it's the thuggers, thuggers, and like ministry and stuff. So oh, I kind of all over the place. I love when they name cars uh, that are like total, just like, Shit boxes, something yeah. like really awesome, like Excel. Yeah. Like it's like really <laughs> ironic, or like the esteem or stuff like that. Right. Yeah. Uh, and I'm not sure where it's at. It's probably just in pieces because I, I totaled it. Oh, what happened? Yeah. I rear ended somebody and pushed them into somebody else and, and into somebody hit? else. Oh, yeah. geez. Hey, it was pretty gonna, good. If you're going to send it off, then you know, yeah. might as well smash it into something. On the topic of crappy cars, um, what's a car that most people think is like whether car guys or not, that think is a pretty crappy car, but you think is awesome. Ford yeah. Escort. I, was, I, I wasn't gonna call <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah, like leading me right into that, yeah. <laughs> I definitely, I have a note that says, use Ben ZX2 if needed. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, the Ford Escort isn't a great car. It's a great first car, yeah. because like, it's gonna break a lot, but you learn how to fix it because it breaks a lot. So that's fine, it's light, so it's, it feels kinda spirited. You know, <laughs> what, uh, what, you still have it, you still do a lot to it. What, what made you that attached to it? 
Uh, I don't know, honestly. It was kind of like one thing after another. It's like you get the bug, the modifying bug, and you keep going. And it got to a point where the car is not going to sell for anything anyway. Yeah. And I've got so much money into it, you might as well just keep going. Yeah. So I still have it. That's cool. Is it a forever car? Or Probably is a forever car. I'll probably wreck it. I want to track it. <laughs> so it'll run into a wall one day. And, well, yeah. you can follow Adam and just wreck it into some three cars <laughs> in the parking lot. Yeah. <laughs> Drew, what about you? Any, any cars that suck, but you think they're awesome? Oh. I don't know. I, I had that uh, that Kia Rio for a while, <laughs> which coming to work here, everybody made fun of me for having like every single day. And uh, I mean, it wasn't a fun car to drive. It was it was garbage, but it worked. <laughs> All right, let's flip the table. What about cars that should be amazing or most people think are amazing, and then you got to experience it somehow, and it was just like, wow, this is a huge letdown. I'm not a big fan of the R32. Yeah, I was going to say R32. Oh, really? Why yeah. so? doesn't really do anything for me. At least a stock R32. Yeah. We mod them, they're pretty lively, but I, I think the stock engine needs to be modded. I enjoyed yeah. the rear-wheel drive GTS. Oh, yeah? Like, R32 more than an R32 GTR. Oh, Just because you can play around with it more. With yeah. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no. Those are cool. Yeah. Those are cool. I was going to say, we might have to censor you all if you start bashing on R32s. That's the total like fanboy car right oh, now. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's true. Yeah, no. Just bleep it out. As the, <laughs> as the old man in the group, what's, what, what, uh, um, what about you? What I wasn't impressed with is uh, <laughs> Evo X. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Uh, maybe it's because it, it was Wait, an what's MR. What's the name of it again? Evo there, X, Evo was 10. Was there an Evo Z or Q or anything like that? <laughs> Sorry, okay. <laughs> Evo 10. That's one of me and Drew's big pet peeves. It's, it's like, it's a, it's a 10. What about the Evo IX? Yes. Okay. Don't, you, be, you best not be ragging right, on the yeah. IX. Do you remember the first time you wrenched on a car, even if it was super simple? And I don't mean yeah. like change your oil. I remember my first modification. So uh, after the Hyundai Excel, and then there was a Ford Aerostar, which was pretty sweet. Mm. Um, back, more 15s would fit in that one, <laughs> and then uh, and rear wheel drive, which is pretty mm. amazing. Mm. Uh, Mazda Protege, which is hey. like a yeah, yeah. escort Mazda BG chassis, escort twin, right? Yeah, you had a Protege, I right? You have a Protege. What year is yours? Uh, was <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what year is the Protege that you currently drive? Ninety to ninety one, I think. Some of those ninety yeah, or ninety one, like right? first gen. It's, yeah, we talked about it second. <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, so actually took the exhaust, so the muffler section came off. This was in like 95, because they didn't have money for parts. And I don't think they made exhaust systems for those cars ever. So, they, they you know, I just yeah. uh, did the lightweight <laughs> mod, took oh, the muffler yeah. section off, and then with some rebar, knocked out the cat. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I have to edit this part. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Was it way faster after that? Oh, dude, way faster. Yeah. Yeah, I actually like, took that car to the drag strip. I don't remember what it ran, but probably like really high 18s I or ran, something I like ran a that. stock Escort of the drag strip, yeah. ran like a 19. Yeah. yeah. I like that you clarified high 18s as though if it was low 18s, then <laughs> yeah, yeah. that would be okay. Yeah. yeah, I know. What's like a super cool mod that you're really proud of that you've done um, on, on a car? Like even if it's just one trivial thing that just makes you really happy or it's just cool. I predict we're going to be talking about escorts in like 15 seconds. <laughs> I don't want to keep bringing it up. I'm letting this one go. Hey, no one else on a YouTube video is ever going to talk about one. So you might as well just throw just it all out there right thing. now. What about the bug guy? Drew has a super cool car. Yeah, I have a O2 uh, WRX that uh, we swapped with a two and a half liter EJ, um, a six speed and rear wheel drive converted. And so it's a fun little donut machine. Donut machine. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, you, did you make the, the plugs for the... Yeah, I did. Um, well, a couple of the guys in the shop helped me um, turn some stuff down on the lathe and so we could delete the axles and get rid of all that stuff in the knuckles too. So, so yeah. what does that do as far as, like, is the, the ECU just like super, I guess, uh, does the ECU control it? Is it just super confused? Or? Uh, no, because it's still um, the 16-bit ECU, so okay. it didn't have anything um, to control the, the center diff or anything like oh, that gotcha. anyway. And uh, right now there's no speedo because that's actually driven off of the, the front diff, so you just kind of... <laughs> Yes. Just, yeah. It doesn't really matter how fast you're going. When you're just yeah, doing literally. That. Burnouts is zero miles per hour. <laughs> yeah. so. What uh, what kind of mods drive y'all crazy? That like because you all shot cars. We obviously talk to a lot of customers. What stuff? I'm I'm pretty open with people. Just like you know, do whatever you want with your car. But there's certain things. That just, yeah. Mm. Uh, so like 45 degree negative mm. camber. Yeah. 
stamps. Oh, low life. hanging fruit, dude. Yeah, That's low hanging fruit. <laughs> I'm trying to avoid that, jeez. There's like a balance with everything, though. Like <laughs> stretched, <laughs> stretched higher, like an 11 inch rim with like a 205 on yeah. it. He's There's running cool 215s on an eight and a half. Yeah, it's just um, for burning. <laughs> There's just a, not my thing, but like you were saying, like I respect people working on cars. Everybody wants to do something different, but I think when you take it to like that level of non-functionality when you're driving a car on the sidewalls, yeah. yeah. See, I don't necessarily not for me. I don't care as much about that as I care about safety. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like yeah. you can stance a car; it looks cool, but so long as it's like you're not gonna like wreck the first corner you go around. Did exactly. you stance the Excel? Is that what happened? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's how you no. had no tire in his <laughs> brain. <laughs> So Excel is old enough to where it had, I think it had like 60 series tires or 70 wow. series or something. Man. On the, on the topic of modifications, what's a mod that you wish would come back even if there's a good reason it's gone? Mine? Oh man, I'm, wow. I'm gonna cringe on myself here. I kinda want Underglow to come it's back. back it's Under back, dude. Oh, it is starting it's to come back. back. Yeah. Especially really? for like drifting. You're just doing a big like burnout and the smoke mm, everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. And there's just red flashing rainbow color lights. Like, I think it's pretty wow. cool. Do you guys mm. know what H2OI is? The like horrible like mm -hmm. uh, car meet basically that happens every year yeah. in uh, uh, Ocean City, Maryland. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. they had uh, an underglow meet there. That <laughs> like was specifically for that. It was like yeah, like this whole oh, parking man. lot, every car had underglow. Yeah, wow. it, was, it was epic. So it's coming back. Yeah. Do you guys remember the? I think the company was GTS. The headlight covers. Ah, uh, the smoke. Like everybody had uh, the, oh, with yeah, the Fox yeah. body. Yeah, they had yeah, the black yeah. headlight covers, yeah. like every, the original every, like murdered <laughs> outlook. You yeah. know. Like black Mustang GT, got to have the black taillight covers and yep. the black headlight covers. Yeah. Not saying I don't. I want to bring it back, but man, I wanted those bad. Tacky in uh, the best way. <laughs> wanted them bad back in the day. <laughs> Does anybody else miss carbs? You know. I've never had carbs. <laughs> He's got a Hachi yeah. with carbs. So, do you, did you miss or you rebuilt one? Recently? I missed driving it. <laughs> <laughs> um, damn, no. Uh, any any time I hear people. Uh, Say, oh yeah, no, I'm I'm used to carbureted stuff. The <laughs> computers are way too difficult. I'm just like, I, I rebuilt a carb and it it had a thousand parts. I'm lucky yeah. that it, I put it back together and that it works. It's not yeah, fun. Yeah. With modern cars, you have the computers to be able to tell yeah. you what's wrong. Yeah, like that electric yeah. screwdriver. You have to just figure it out. Yeah. So as a Chevelle owner, I was going to do an LS swap, <laughs> and people were like, "What are you doing? <laughs> Keep an old carbureted motor in there." <clears throat> what What do you? That's a Absolute perfect segue. That's one of my yeah. favorite topics to discuss and debate. Uh, what is y'all's stance on, and we can do like a broad topic here of period correct stuff or stuff that doesn't belong with stuff, kind of that whole mentality. Some people are way on one side, some people don't care, and some people are like completely in the other. Um, but like RX-7s with an LS, that's like the old, always the one I think of. Yeah. You know, oh, you took the rotary out. Who cares? Um, you just made the perfect car. Are you talking about an FD with an yeah. LS1? Yeah, that's yeah. probably the most controversial, yeah. I, yeah. I personally, if you want I wanted, it to run. Yeah, if I wanted, especially the daily one. Like as a project car, I think the rotary would be cool. But if you yeah. want to actually like drive it around and stuff, right? You know, what yeah, about what about like classic cars? Like some guys are like they're cool if it's a newer car, they don't really care what you do. But if like you go find some pretty pristine whatever, and then you change something that you can never replace or something like that, some guys just get super <laughs> bent over about it. I think <laughs> I think I get bent out of shape when people do engine swaps for the sake of getting attention. You know, like people will swap an engine that's perfectly good for something else just mm. so that people can like pay attention to their just car. Just to be different. That's true. Yeah, it's like okay. build your car the way you want to. If it's a good engine in there and you want that engine, then build it up, you know? Yeah, yeah. Don't swap it out because you want attention. That's a pretty good strategy to go by. If, yeah. if you can justify why you're doing it, then I don't care what you do. Yeah. But if you're just doing it for looks or whatever. But then again, you have the guys that are kind of breaking ground and maybe they're doing something that no one's done before and then that actually inspires Pushes or whatever. Things. So yeah. that that's can true. be cool at the same time. Similar to that topic, what about collector cars that rich dudes just get because it's an investment and then it sits in their garage and it doesn't get driven? Mm -hmm. What do y'all yeah, think about that? Are you, <sighs> is there any are... car that like you're like, uh, I'm okay with that? Like where I would be okay with somebody not driving it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or, or are you, or maybe you're already okay with any of them. Like, does that bother you? Gosh. I, like some cars, there's so few of them that if you like really like I mean some of these like 15 million dollar Ferraris and stuff like yeah, if you're historically like historically important stuff. right yeah, yeah it's yeah. like if you're driving it it's like like I kind of get bent out of shape about RWB stuff a little bit we were just watching uh Chris Petruccio's uh video it's like a doc he does docs on RWB builds you know like the 993 Porsches mm -hmm. and stuff mm -hmm. it kind of frustrates me that they like cut into <laughs> fairly rare yeah like old classic Porsches that we don't have anymore like they don't make them anymore 
but I don't know. It still exists. To it's me, still yeah, there. exactly. To me, there's a balance. It's like I can get why you wouldn't want to modify it, but to me, it's what about if they just don't do any? It just sits. That's like the the big question. Yeah. Because there's guys that will have a fleet and they literally just that's the worst. They, they polish them. That's it's funny because the know. internet gets all bent out of shape when people don't drive their car, yeah. and if it's like a pristine car and they go drive it, they're like, yeah, cool. Yeah. But then everyone wants to buy a car that has like no miles on it. <laughs> yeah. Right. So like you exactly. like those people because you yeah. can buy the cars yeah, from yeah. them. So that is the catch twenty two. Like. Part of me, one of my life goals is to become rich enough that I can find really rare cars that have been sitting and then go do a burnout in it after I bought it, like in the guy's driveway, and just be like, see ya, and just man. So tell us about your M3. Oh. <laughs> Best burnout or donut story, any good ones? You have a good one this morning. Oh yeah, we were doing donuts this morning because it's nice and slick. And um, our neighbor came down and uh, used quite a bit of profanity, telling me that <laughs> that I wasn't cool. Pretty cool. Um, what is a enthusiast group or style that you think is just awesome, but you'll probably never actually have a car like that or be in a group like that? Buzz is so good. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. Yeah. that and the, Explain it if people don't know. Some uh, people that's, might not know. That's just, um, I guess, the style of taking your vehicle to the extreme absurdity um just like massive body kits like yeah, just these are like the mini vans that look like transformers yeah. and have like horns on them yeah. and yeah, yeah. The exhaust pipes. Shoot, shoot. seven yeah. exhaust pipes that have yeah. like hello kitty shaped on six foot right. front lip mandatory underglow everything yeah 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 fantastic <laughs> have, you, have you guys seen swangas since you've been oh. here what is what's that swangas is that swangas. the uh like, like the 40 chariot inch wheels it's very no, they're, they're, thing. They're, Usually oh, like kind of a reasonable size, but then they've just got these. Oh, it's massive. More than oh the uh, Dons? like the Dayton Dons? like spokes, like, but they like come Vanderbilt. out like very far yes. oh, see, with yeah. like the yeah. like blades on yeah. the. It seems like a Texas thing. Yes, yeah. it is. It's a very Houston <laughs> thing. Hurston. Never heard Hurston. of it before <laughs> moving here. <laughs> It's, yeah. uh, I don't know how it's legal. I don't know how you don't find them with just like mangled up. Yeah. If pop-up headlights are a pedestrian uh, hazard, then <laughs> these <laughs> wheels. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. Well, fellas, it's been a really good discussion so far, but got to wrap it up. Not completely, though. Uh, we have got one more thing going for us. I don't need this anymore. We're going to play a little game that I like to call Car Charades. We're going to have a name here, hopefully. Here's the rules. Uh, each one of you will come up here, move this out of the way. We'll pull out a piece of paper from this filter. Uh, it's going to have a car's name on it. You'll have 30 seconds to act out the name of the car. No, no talking, but you can make sound effects. That's encouraged, actually. Adam, you're up first. Oh God! Draw, right. draw a card or draw a name, and then come up here. Thirty seconds. Somebody, somebody behind the camera, start a start a timer and holler at us. Okay, stand by. You ready? Are you guys ready? Uh, <laughs> Never no. been more ready. No. Out, okay. <laughs> okay. Jeep. Oh, Wrangler. Wrangler. Oh, that was good. All right, Drew, you're up next. Okay. <laughs> draw, draw your name here. So that's one point uh, for Drew. Uh, half point each? No, no, you, you got oh, Jeep, dude. I didn't hear it. You so got right. it. Yeah. <sighs> Give us a timer. <laughs> Super <Subaru. Subaru> Forester. <laughs> oh, Porsche 911. Oh, oh there man. you go. That was Easy. good. <laughs> ben, okay. Caucasian Ben. Oh, grab your grab your slip. Wait, who got that? Me. Oh, okay. Wow. So we're one here and one here. Nice job. <clears throat> oh, timer. <laughs> here we go. Let's go. Off roading. Uh, Raptor. Yeah. Oh, oh wow. wow. Wow, that was good. That was impressive. That was we good. were hoping right. you would do this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like some, that's that's yeah, what we were going for. Sense. Oh, man. That's not the prize, I promise. <laughs> I saw you catching air, so. Yeah. 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 All right. All right. Who's, Who's next? Left? Asian Ben. Yeah. God. And we, we have a tie, three-way tie. Uh -huh. Crap. 
trash I can. I we're that good. For all four of you. Okay, we're <laughs> all right, you got five seconds. Think about it. Give us a few seconds and start the timer. <laughs> okay, oh, go, I got this. Go. <laughs> Mustang. Mustang. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. oh man, we knew that's where that was going. Wait, who said it first? I don't know. It sounded like over here. We were all the tapes. I, no, I was. I don't know. I didn't say it. I didn't say it. No. Was it you? I don't know. I think it was me. I think it was you. Was that the tie? The time Did we get a four-person tie? No, that means he's got two. Oh, you're the winner. I didn't get the other Dance one. Off. You got the flat, four, the flat six one, right? I thought you got wrapped. Right no, in this game. Oh yeah, that's a four. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. All right. Four-way tie. Well, I guess I'm in it. All right. I'm gonna cheat. I'm just gonna talk about stuff. Right. Whoa, whoa! You can't cheat. Yeah, why do you get to cheat? But because <laughs> I, I'm not the winner here. All right, give me a timer. Yeah, you are a loser. Ready? Go. All right. Oh, oh, Miata. Autocross. Oh, yeah. Miata. Oh, yeah, there we go. Good. Champion. All right, Damn. we have a winner. Please stand up, Asian Ben. <laughs> if you've never seen this, this is a version one access oh my port. God. It doesn't even work on ZX2s. Fantastic. Um, it's I a mean, really good doorstop. Nice. Okay. But, uh, I'll, I'll hook it up to my Evo. But because that's like pretty much all the support you guys offer for me. No, not even on that. It's not really good for <laughs> oh, anything. Oh, really? But it's a good keepsake. Nice. What like, was this originally for? Oh, I don't WRX? know. WRX. WRX. So. I would never use it, it will break your car. But <laughs> fellas, that was awesome. We had a great time, but we are finally all done. I wanna give one more shout out to Ben and also Ben. Check out their channel again. It's called Gears and Gasoline. They make awesome content. That was an absolute blast and we will see you on the next liftoff. Drew, you suck at acting. <laughs>